Uh, the organizations are Indivisible 14 and the World Federation of Jewish Child Survivors of the Holocaust and Descendants. I'm a uh, uh, child survivor of the Holocaust. I was, um, I was about two years old when the, um, when the war began and, and I went into hiding. Uh, my family members were picked up in the streets of Paris in the very same way that ICE people are deputizing local police and picking them up in the streets. This is a photograph of the French police uh, deputized by the Nazis picking up Jewish men. And they got the list of the men to be picked up by the French police who kept lists of the Jews in Paris, including Jewish children, including children on my street who were picked up and went to the gas chambers while I was fortunate to be in hiding. I see a lot of parallels, Mr. Chairman, I see a lot of parallels to what is going on right now in cities like Ann Arbor and Pontiac where ICE is coming in and with the help of the local police are picking up um, up, up, up picking up, up immigrants. Uh, very, two very quick points. These are photographs of my two relatives. This young woman, by the way, who happened to be blonde hair, blue eyes, so in terms of uh, um, profiling, she could pass, but she was picked up and she went to the gas chambers as well. Another, uh, I just want to say also that today, I think people should know that, today is the, today is the, um, uh, the day that uh, a thousand Jews were uh, prevented from coming to the shore, uh, so, uh, shores of the United States on the SS St. Louis. If you look it up, if you Google, the SS St. Louis today is a day where a thousand Jews were sent back and uh, half of them w went to their gas chambers, went to their deaths. That's the SS St. Louis. It was prevented by people in the State Department from coming uh, uh, to, into the, the United States. Also, a results of what's going on right now, I want to show you a small article from the Jewish Press in Detroit, where, and I, and I speak at the Holocaust Center quite a bit because I'm a survivor, uh, and we have education where we teach tolerance and diversity and uh, against stereotyping, etc. We teach that to children young people, adults all over the state of Michigan who come to the Holocaust Center for education. Windsor, Windsor, Ontario has sent us a letter saying that they no longer will be sending buses of children to the Holocaust Center because they are concerned that a lot of the children may be questioned about their status. This is in a Jewish news, you can look it up. Okay. Thank you thank very you, much Renee. for your time. Yeah, thank you. At this point, we're going to uh, have a quick question from Representative Moss, and we'll have one additional one after that. Thank you. Uh, thank you very Renee, briefly for being here. Um, you know, obviously, you know, this is passion I have, and I share with you uh, my great grandfather's uh, siblings. Uh, my great grandfather made it here to this country, and his siblings perished in the Holocaust. And I want the committee uh, to be aware, as Renee knows as well, the first wave of illegal immigration from our southern border uh, were Jews trying to escape uh, growing anti-Semitism uh, and had no other access to this country because of strict quota laws that were enforced. And, you know, we had a Holocaust commemoration ceremony here uh, about a month and a half ago with 30 survivors around this state. I didn't ask a single one of them on how they got here or what their status was, and I don't I don't care. Uh, and that's the population uh, among many uh, uh, civil people in this country that are now vulnerable of being asked what their background is and how they got here. And I share this concern with you, Renee. Uh, and, and this is why this legislation goes far and beyond a political debate and brings us back to a time where a, we know how that story ended, and it didn't end fortunate uh, for many of the, our shared relatives. Thank you. Okay, I believe Runstead passes. Representative Frederick, did you have a question? Just very briefly, I just wanted to say it's an honor to have you here, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to add very quickly that I went into the United States Army, and I was in an intelligence unit, and my immediate officer was a captain, a West Point, young West Point captain. One day he called me and he said, Lickman, we've got your name here on a list of aliens. He says, what are you doing working in, in an intelligence unit in the Army? And he goes, 
I said, well, sir, I, I don't know. You know, I came here. I assumed that I became a citizen automatically when my mother married an American uh, a citizen. He said, well, that ain't the case. So g get your butt into town and go in front of judge so-and-so and so-and-so. And so. Today, I would probably be, 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 ice could have been called on me, and I would have been shipped off. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. We appreciate it very much. I